for Wine Enthusiast TV. I'm Michael Schachner, contributing editor for South America. Today we're at Route 1, part of the Viña Ventisquero group of wineries. I'm with Sergio Onazabo. Sergio, tell us what Route 1 means, both in terms of being a brand, but also in terms of a greater concept. Route 1 is a brand of Viña Ventisquero with uh, four varieties. Sauvignon Blanc, Pinot Noir, Carmener, and Cabernet Sauvignon. But for us, Route 1, it's a real concept where we grow naturally vines. We grow vines without any graft, so uh, we can show directly the influence of the soil into the grape and then into the wine. And ungrafted vines, in your opinion, are more natural, they produce better fruit? Definitely, it's more natural. It's the natural way to grow vines, and you can taste in the wine all the, the, the terroir and the, the nature, the, the weather, the climate. Chile is like an island and this uh, condition allow us to grow uh, natural vines without any grafted plant like all over the world. Sergio, over the years I've given Route 1 a lot of strong scores, especially for the Cabernet Sauvignon and the Sauvignon Blanc. How have you been able to make wines of relatively high quality at very affordable prices? We have um, uh, great terroirs and great conditions uh, to produce this kind of wine. We work very hard to offer the people a uh, great wine for the palate and a great wine for the wallet. The Casablanca is a cool valley with a big influence from the Pacific Ocean. The Pacific Ocean is a cool ocean. So this Sauvignon is really pretty um, crisp and refreshing and uh, in the nose you have full of citrus and tropical aromas. Um, it's all that you expect, expect from a Sauvignon Blanc uh, from Casablanca. I think the perfect pairing for this wine is, uh, is the fish or maybe a shellfish because the, the wine is very crisp and uh, have a vibrant acidity. Uh, why not uh, a very light cheese um, all, all, all the kind of, of food with the, these uh, fresh flavors from the sea or from a salad. Colchagua Valley is a, it's a great valley because it's a warm valley, but we have uh, very cool nights. And the cool nights allow us to have very uh, spicy, uh, fruity wines with a, with a great expression of Cabernet. Uh, and this wine Show us the 2011 vintage uh, was a little bit uh, cooler. So this wine is uh, full of uh, spices and then uh, and, uh, black currant, uh, some fresh plums as well. Uh, in the in the mouth, it's, it's, it's very refreshing, pretty, um, and the tannins are, are really soft. Yeah, by no means it doesn't seem heavy. It seems a little more racy, possibly even a little more focused than some of the maybe bigger wines from previous years. Yeah, exactly. We, we are working a little bit more in the elegance of the, on this wine, uh, not, not in the, the size of the wine, but in the elegant side of Cabernet Sauvignon. Cabernet Sauvignon is a really elegant wine with the, this cassis side or black pepper. Uh, so we are evolved in this wine um, to show the people a great and classical Cabernet Sauvignon, but not so expensive. This Cabernet Sauvignon is great for pairing with uh, any kind of grilled meat. Uh, could be with a filet, a sirloin, uh, pork, or a ripe cheese. Uh, it's, it's an excellent wine to pair with a ripe cheese. And let me tell you, Mike, that I, I am a really red wine guy. And I enjoy this wine every week and every weekend. And usually I, I pair with pasta or pizza.